Hey, quick pro tip for all of our insider members. One thing about the charter fishing, right? When you fish a lot, your gear gets amazingly abused. And one thing we've noticed that when you have line, after, especially like after fighting that tarpon, it likes to get spun up. And so what Luke and I are gonna show today here is how to unspin your line. In the old days with mono, the spin and the twist was much more prevalent than it is today in the braid. But if you can look up close, you can see how spun up this line is, and it's not just from the tarpon kicking Joe's butt, this rod and reel's been through a lot, and you can just see how the braid on the reel, even though it's brand new, I mean, two days of fishing with me, that stuff can get spun up, and we wanna see if we can get it unspun. So the trick to unspinning your line, whether it's mono or braid, is the first thing you wanna do is take off all your leaders, all your knots, all your hooks, and you want this just to be plain. And then we're gonna drag it out behind the boat, and we're gonna just pretend like we're trolling and let this naturally unspin itself. And then we'll wind it back up nice and tight and then we'll be ready for the next rig, okay? So Luke is gonna let this out behind the boat. We're gonna put this boat in gear and just as if we were gonna troll somewhere. Yeah. Now mind you, it's not gonna be 300 yards of twisted up line, but you probably got a good 50 to maybe 75 and we wanna just make sure we get it all off the spool and probably gotta drag it for five to eight minutes, maybe even longer, we're gonna to have to see. Yeah, and this uh, this line, this is a tarpon that's just caught on this, so it's it's really packed on there. Many times, once you get that that line on the, on the water, the drag will pull it out. In this case, I'm having to feed it. That's just because that tarpon, <laughs> that tarpon really mashed it in there. Uh, braid is not as nearly as easy, we were talking about earlier, it's not nearly as easy as mono. Where you, mono, how long do you drag mono? Is it? Mono, it spins quick. I mean, yeah, you let it right out, out behind the boat, it unspins quick. Braid, not so much. And interesting with the, prop, the, the, uh, the components of the braid is that it's not hard to spin it, but it is hard to unspin it. Whereas right. mono spins easy and unspins easy. Yep. The good news is that these braid performs better when it does have twists. It's not quite as bad for braid, but it's still yes, not good. Yes, because there's no memory in the braid, you don't have the issue of it wrapping around the rod tip all yep. the time and breaking fish off or just creating all the problems that mono does when it gets twisted. When we used to fish with mono, it was daily, we'd have to unspin yeah. the line. At the end of every day, especially if you're sail fishing, tarpon fishing, things where fish are really taking a lot of line and you're winding against the drag or the drag's pulling, you'd have to really put the time in with the braid, not so much, but this has been worked hard the last couple of days with these two. So we're gonna drag it a little and see. So you can actually let it out until you see where the, yep. the, the twist almost stops. Have you found that yet where it looks like normal it's, it's, braid? It's getting better, but it's definitely not perfect. That tarpon had a lot of line out. Yeah, basically every time, you know, when, it, when a fish is taking out drag, every, every rotation of that reel is adding another twist. So that 150 pound tarpon took out a lot of line, that's a lot of twists in there. So we're just letting it start to look more normal now. Yeah, you can, look, yeah, you can tell you all closer, the way from here. It's a, it's a much cleaner look, right? It wasn't all that kind of a little, looks almost like, not small tangles, but it just looks rough. So that's nice and smooth. What line is this? Is the, it's a 30 pound J braid from Yeah, this is J braid, that's a smooth line. It, it's not that four strand, it's an eight strand. And that looks nice and smooth in there. So now, we've got to let this line Hopefully get rid of those twists, and we will see. With a 10 pound braid, it's the, the twists are even harder to get out. So in many cases, I have to reel it back in and then and do it over again. A lot, when I reel it in, I actually pinch it with my finger, and that's what does the best job of, of really punching those, uh, those twists out of there. So we'll, uh, we'll drag this for a bit and reel it in. And we'll and pull it in and see how it looks. And then again, you can check it as it comes in. We were just trolling is all we're doing. We're just idling along here, clean the boat at the same time, get your stuff together. But you don't need to drag it fast. You just need to make sure you drag that line clean. No hooks, no leaders, no knots. Drag it out behind the boat, give it a chance to unspin, wind it back up tight, and then you're ready for a full re-rig. At the same time, like Lou said, if you, because that fish took so much line, you don't know if there's any imperfections now in that line. When that thing runs around the boat at 150 yards away, it could touch any kind of trash out here. So at the same time you're checking your line, you're running through your fingers if you find a fray spot or anything that doesn't look right because braid sometimes has its own issues, gives you a chance to cut it out and start fresh. So we're gonna just be a little bit here and we'll see, a, see what we get back. Yeah, so as far as reeling it in, what I like to do is I just like to, to have my fingers, I have to make like to go through my, my fingers there. 
And so that's going to just gonna control. I'll raise it up a little bit. This is a much bigger rod than what I'm normally doing. And I actually point the rod straight to the uh, straight to where the line's going coming from. And it's definitely looking nicer. So it's looking nicer on the spool. I can feel some twist going through my fingers. It's definitely not perfect, but this is way better than it was, what it was earlier. So we might have to do this a couple times. So I, I only have about 50 feet of line out or so, and in that last bit of stretch, I can see some more twist coming through. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that back out. Now there's not as much tension, right? Just the, the water drag alone. We'll pull, we'll pull it out. It's a lot easier, so we might as well fix it now. So now we're now it's clean. Oh, let me get that one stretch back over. Now it's clean, and so we'll just give this another couple minutes, and we should be good to go. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get every single twist out, but the more you can get out, the just the better off you're going to be. It'll cast better. It'll perform a little bit, a little bit smoother. Simple as that. So here we go, folks. Like we just talked about, we got all the spins out of the line after catching that big tarpon, dragging it behind the boat. Make sure that your line is clean. No leaders, no hooks, no lures, no knots. Drag it behind the boat long enough to get it unspun, wind it back up nice and tight, and then you're ready to re-rig for your next fishing trip, right? So with that being said, if you guys have any questions on how to treat your line after it, the wear and tear that it goes through every day, you can always find us on saltstrong.com and also floridakeysfunfishing.com. This is Captain Mark Holly Wood Johnson losing his voice, fishing with Luke, getting it done. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do that through premium education, through our exclusive insider community, and through huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.